We're tuning in to another how-to video uh, by Taylor and this one is uh, replacing a kitchen sink uh, overhead light under cabinet light and uh, this one was a fluorescent with the ballast not working and so you could replace the ballast but it's just cheaper to get a new light especially since they have the more energy efficient LED lights so um, I went ahead and got that and it has the the bulb uh, the light fixture itself everything is in one and uh, so those are the cables that we removed the black the white and the uh, ground um, they were in this housing right here I've got the electricity turned off to the house but you'll see an electric um, fitting uh, just like that and uh, so those were fed through here and uh, this was mounted under the cabinet uh, with one screw over there and just unscrewed that with a Phillips screwdriver and there was the ground was uh, wire that's that uh, bare wire was uh, screwed into this part of the housing so remove those and uh, pull this housing off uh, this uh, was what uh, was here. Actually, I believe it was oriented uh, somewhere like this. And so there was a wire nut for the um, black and the white wire. And uh, those are right there. We just unscrewed those wire nuts first and then removed the uh, housing like I was just talking about. And it might look, you know, complicated, but it's it's pretty basic. Just uh, the black wire, the white wire, and uh, then you're able to uh, undo those two screws and the whole thing comes off the key. The next thing we're going to do, there's uh, two screws here on each side of this housing. And I've already loosened up this one, the magnetic screwdriver, so it comes in handy. Keep that in its place, don't lose it. Phillips screwdriver, just unscrew this, put that to the side. And now the, uh, this whole housing should snap off. I think I'm gonna have to do this with two hands. So there's, um, on this particular model, there's three points here, a uh, little hook that connect uh, where it kind of sticks into. So you just have to push down on the front of this and unhook it. those points and that snaps open here. Two pieces uh, come apart and we have our wires and inside this housing we have our hardware kit. First uh, step after you have uh, the hardware package in the housing taken apart is to take the main uh, support bracket uh, for the light and place it where you need it, take into consideration the electrical wire placement. And uh, you'll see uh, two mounting holes right there on either side. Just with a pencil, mark the uh, small side where the uh, screw uh, will hold this housing in place. Mark that with a pencil and drill two small pilot holes in the bottom of your cabinet. So be careful, you don't need to go, of course, all the way through. Uh, determine where that wire needs to go through. On here, it's coming from the right side, and you'll see a little knockout hole. So they call it knockout hole. There's one on this side, there's one in the back. And there's two over on the other side for your convenience. And uh, depending on where the best place 
you need the wire to go through. So you just get a screwdriver and uh, put it right on that and with a hammer lightly tap it, lightly tap it and that circle will just uh, pop through. And then you want to take that off. Do is install this strain relief nut. It's a nut that will come with most kits. If not, you can buy them at your local hardware store. It just protects where the wires come through. So they're not, it can't be cut on the edge of the metal. So it'll have a nut on this side and uh, a bracket that allows you to pass the wires through there uh, in a smooth piece of conduit connection. So you want to secure that nut onto the hole that you made in the knockout. Next, you want to drive uh, the screws almost all the way into the underside of the cabinet where you place those um, pencil marks. Screw them in place, leave a little gap, and then you're going to fit your bracket uh, right there and then tighten those up. Then you want to mount the uh, bracket, the housing, and put it through those uh, guide holes um, where you put the screws, put it through the big part of course, and then slide it into the thin part there. Then uh, tighten down those screws to the underside of the cabinet so it's right in the position where you want it. Next, you're gonna feed your uh, electrical cable that's covered with that armored uh, um, metal uh, protection uh, housing that conduit uh, to protect the cable and feed it into this uh, connector that you made and so you'll have your your black your white and your ground coming right up to this point right here now we're going to screw on the other side of this nut to fasten the wire in place for safety so it can't be pulled back and forth. It came with the uh, quick connects uh, connections where uh, it comes from the factory with the one from the unit and your house you just match up white to white, black to black, green to bare and they just have a hole basically that you force the wire into and it has a little type of a grip. Uh, once you feed it into these quick connect fittings, they just grab onto it, kind of bite onto the cables. So you don't have to worry about wire nuts and tape, which that's nice. Green to bare, black to black, white to white. Well, I'll be the first to admit that last part was uh, harder than I anticipated. So you get your cables, your wires, uh, kind of pushed up into this housing. And then on this particular model, you get that, this top cover, you know, under this little ridge. And then they have these tabs where this metal piece will connect under these uh, tabs right here. And uh, then you'll need to put the uh, screws in right here. Screw that in place. Right there. You want to put the lens cover on. Kind of snaps into place here. All right, you get that snapped into place. That little lens cover on, and we should be ready to go. 
new kitchen cabinet um, under cabinet uh, kitchen light and got the wire connected got that the housing screwed to the bottom of the cabinet got the wires connected to the inside of the housing the housing put back together this little lens cover snapped back into place and we turn the main electricity back on to the house so we should be good to go Let's see what we got all right great a new uh, kitchen sink under cabinet light all right well thank you for uh, watching hopefully you were able to pick up some tips or something uh, helpful uh, from this video if you uh, liked it uh, give me a like and uh, you can subscribe to my channel how to by Taylor and also check out uh, my Facebook page by the same name how to by Taylor thanks for watching bye bye